Because his advanced DNA made him more powerful than the vampire, Bastion's vision swiftly cleared. While the vamp continued to scrub at his eyes with one hand and clutch his chest with the other, Bastion studied the men who approached. All were garbed like special ops soldiers and carried much of the related weaponry with one notable addition. The vampire jerked when a tranquilizer dart hit him in the shoulder. His body instantly went limp and heavy. Still using him as a shield, Bastion zeroed in on the soldier holding the tranquilizer pistol. The next time the soldier fired, Bastion moved, as swift as lightning, and caught the dart. He hurled it back at the soldier, hitting him in the throat. The man collapsed without a sound. Another soldier fired a second tranquilizer pistol. Bastion ducked the first dart, then caught the second and sent it back to its launcher. All but one of the remaining soldiers opened fire with their silencer-equipped assault rifles. Bullets tore through the vampire and hit Bastion. Fire burned through his stomach and chest. Breathing became difficult as one lung collapsed. Shit! Dropping the vampire, Bastion sped forward, grabbed the rifle one of the downed human soldiers had dropped, and fired. The remaining soldiers began to fall as bullets penetrated Kevlar or hit flesh not protected by armor. Despite his attempts to evade the darts, Bastion felt a sharp sting in his neck. His knees weakened. Alarm surpassing pissed off, Bastion put on a burst of speed, circled the building, and came up behind the soldiers. He grabbed the first one he met, dragged him back against his chest, and sank his fangs into the man's throat, siphoning as much blood as he could into his veins to dilute the drug he could feel steadily sapping his strength and to aid the virus in repairing his wounds. Yanking the tranquilizer pistol from the soldier's hand, Bastion fired at the others as they turned to fight anew. Every human fell, eventually and every one of them died, either as a result of bullet wounds or being tranked with a drug too strong for their systems to handle. Bastion dropped the soldier he had drained. The campus around him tilted and rolled. Staggering, he struggled to remain upright. A loud clatter disturbed the quiet. Bastion glanced down at the tranquilizer pistol that had fallen from his hand. Had he meant to do that? Noticing a dart protruding from one thigh, he yanked it out, then removed another he found in his arm. A steady pat, pat, pat drew his gaze to the blood dripping onto the ground at his feet. How many bullet wounds had he incurred? Several seconds spent thinking about it yielded no numbers. He was too tired to count. He looked at the bodies on the ground, the blood, the weapons. Maybe somebody should clean up this mess before... He frowned. Wouldn't something bad happen if this shit wasn't cleaned up? 